I'm Matthew. And I'm Levi. And we recently did a project on the author visit. Have you wrote many books? Me? I've written this one. My name's Ridley Pearson. And I have written a book called The Kingdom Keepers. And I've actually written 47 other books too, which is why I need to take naps. Have you written any? Nope. Nope. Well, this is my book right here. And I'm here for the seventh in the Kingdom Keepers series. If I don't like your questions, I'm holding up this pillow. Go ahead, try me. See if you get the pillow or not. So far, you have a green light. Good what, pillow. What's your favorite book you've written? Have you ever been to Disney World? Yes, I've been to Disney World, and in Disney World, they let me get inside the parks after they're closed. So 25 times I've gone in at like four or five in the morning and onto the various attractions, and they're all shut down, and they're freaky. And that's what I write about in the Kingdom Keepers series. You can see how this looks a little yellowed on the edge, because this book is nine years old. The series is coming to an end now in Kingdom Keepers 7. Good question. Why is your series coming to an end? Good question. I believe in writing stories in a beginning, a middle, and an end. And I believe in writing a series in a beginning, middle, and end, and not just letting it never end. So this is not the never ending story, this is an ending story and it comes to an end with Kingdom Keeper 7. And Kingdom Keeper 7, unlike the other books, is in Disneyland, not Disney World. Good question. Why'd you decide to come to our school? No, okay. I came to your school because this school is known to have the smartest kids anywhere this side of the Mississippi. So I figured if I was going to come here, I would learn something. That was my theory. Do you think I'm right? Yes. Okay. No, 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 no. No, no not right. The smartest. Not the smartest? No. Pretty smart? Yeah. <laughs> Have you been to Disney World? Yeah. Well, that's a reason to be at this school. So that's, that's good enough right there. But what do you need when you're in Disney World? Your sunglasses. What are some other books that you have um, written? Good question. I have written Peter and the Star Catchers, a series of books about how a boy became Peter Pan, and that's co-written with Dave Barry, who's from Miami, and is an extremely funny and very smart guy. So that was really a joy. I did that for 10 years. We wrote about 12 books together. That was, that was a highlight of my career. I've also written a series of books called Steel Trap, two books, which is about a 14-year-old boy with a photographic memory. And the trouble is, he sees a crime happen. So then both the bad guys and the good guys want him because of his photographic memory. Now that we have interviewed Ridley Pearson, let's see what the students think about his presentation. What was your favorite part of the Ridley Pearson interview? The fair part of the interview was I talked about every single book that he made and it made me really want to get his books. Optical Illusions. What was your favorite part about the um, Ridley Pearson visit? The books. What was your favorite part about the Ridley Pearson? Him reading the sections of the book. Why did um, Ridley Pearson come to this school? Well, Miss Erin, who is our media specialist, always goes out of her way to make sure that our students get to have an opportunity to work with a published author. So she had an opportunity from the um, West Regional Library to have host Ridley Pearson here at our school. And I obviously agreed with that and thought that that would be a wonderful opportunity for our students because of him being so well known, his genre of books. And I feel like it's really a, an important and amazing um, opportunity for our kids to get to actually meet and hear how a published author thinks. And I have to say this, I've never, up until I became a principal and worked here, had the opportunity to ever get to meet somebody like that. So I think for those of you in third, fourth, and fifth grade that had that opportunity, that's something that will stay with you forever and may inspire you to become an author. The 
art. Optical illusions. Hi, this is Matthew and Levi from Russell's Urban Reporters signing.